Hello and welcome to this uh, uh, tuition lesson on simultaneous equations and some of our keywords will be uh, variables, um, factorizing, substitution sub uh, and checking. Uh, obviously it makes sense to check your answer at the very end. Okay. Okay, now whenever you have uh, a simultaneous equation or whenever you have to solve simultaneous equations you will expect at least two equations and at least two variables okay uh, they could be a quadratic as in this case or it could be a quadratic and a linear equation as we have here right or it could be any combination of those all right and um, so in effect we've got x minus 5 is equal to 5 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 17 and whenever I have a, uh, a simultaneous equation that involves a quadratic, you would expect some form of substitution. Okay? So in effect, in this case, if we do x is equal to y plus 5 or 5 plus y, okay, you then substitute this value of x back into equation 1. So what you end up with will be 5 plus y squared instead of x squared plus y squared is equal to 17. You will then expand your brackets and you end up by doing 5 plus y all squared, you end up with y squared plus 10y plus 25 and then plus the y squared originally there is equal to 17. Remove your brackets and you end up with 2y squared because y squared and y squared give you 2y squared plus 10y plus 25 minus 17 that's equal to 0 and of course 25 minus 17 is 8 now 2, 10 and 8 are multiples of 2 so if you divide every term by 2 you get y squared plus 5y plus 4 now, if we divide 0 by 2, it still gets 0, so that makes no difference at all. Okay? Now, you need to factorize now. Now, you need two factors of 4, such that if you multiply them, you're going to get 4, obviously. And if you add, you get 5. So, it cannot be 2 and 2, because 2 plus 2 is going to give you 5, anyway. So, it has to be uh, 1 and 4. So, you end up with uh, y plus 1 into y plus 4. Okay? So now you put y plus 1 is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 or y plus 4 is equal to 0 in which case y is equal to minus 4 okay when it goes across now you then substitute these values of y back into equation 2 you can, you can do equation 1 if you want to but it's much, much, uh, more difficult I think so go for the softer option and substitute your value of y into equation 2. Uh, if you had two quadratics there, you had no, you got, you've got no choice. Okay? And then, that, that's what I just said, just that into the, back to the original equation. Now, okay, you need to substitute, so if y is equal to minus 1, so x minus minus 1 becomes x plus 1 is equal to 5. Uh, when, the four go, when the 1 goes across, the sign will change it then becomes x is equal to 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. You do the same for when y is minus 4. So you have x minus minus 4. Because you got two minuses together, that becomes x plus 4. And when the plus 4 goes across, the sign will change. It then, be, it then becomes x equal to 5 minus 4, and that gives us 1. So if we now fit this back into the original equation to check, because it makes sense to go back and check, okay? So you want to put uh, x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 4, and then see if you get the same answer as in the original equations. And again, for y is equal to minus 4 and x equal to 1, you put both values in and make sure that you get something um, similar to the or original equation. So for equation 2, you should have 5, and for equation 1, you should have 17. Okay, sometime in the future, I hope to do, um, in fact, I'm preparing to do uh, self simultaneous equation, I don't, I don't quadratic simultaneous equation using a 2 by 2 matrix. 
I hope this helps. Thank you and bye-bye.